Good morning, everyone. And welcome to St. Malachi. We welcome all that are gathered here today in person and also on our live stream. Today, we celebrate the 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time. If you are with us in person, thank you for adhering to the guidelines per the Archdiocese of Detroit. Our ushers will guide you during communion. What will happen is the center section closest to the ambo will start first, then this sec section here, and then also this wing will follow this second section when it comes time. You are able to dismiss yourselves as well with ample social distancing at the conclusion of Mass. This morning's opening hymn is Your Love Awakens Me. There were walls between us. By the cross you came and broke them down. You broke them down. And there were chains around us. By your grace we are no longer bound. No longer bound. You call me out of the grave, you call me into the light, you call my name and then my heart came alive. Your love is greater, your love is stronger, your love awakens, awakens, awakens me. Your love is greater, your love is stronger, your love awakens, awakens, awakens me. name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, 
Glory, glory to God, and on earth peace to people, people of goodwill. Glory, glory to God, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God, and on earth peace to people. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption shows us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped up in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Kings. One day Elisha came to Shunem, where there was a woman of influence who urged him to dine with her. Afterward, whenever he passed by, he used to stop there to dine. So she said to her husband, I know that Elisha is a holy man of God. Since he visits us often, let us arrange a little room on the roof and furnish it for him with a bed, table, chair, and lamp, so that when he comes to us, he can stay there. Sometime later, Elisha arrived and stayed in the room overnight. Later, Elisha asked, can something be done for her? His servant Gehaza answered, yes. She has no son, and her husband is getting on in years. Elisha said, call her. When the woman had been called and stood at the door, Elisha promised, this time next year, you will be fondling a baby son. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. As to his death, he died to sin once and for all. As to his life, he lives for God. Consequently, you too must think of yourselves as dead to sin and living for God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Whoever does not take up his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. Whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you, receives me. Whoever receives me, receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. Whoever receives a righteous man because he is a righteous man will receive a righteous man's reward. Whoever gives only a cup of cold water to one of these little ones to drink, because the little one is a disciple, amen, I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. Gospel of the Lord. I was ordained in 1987. I did my last two years of seminary training at Saint, was then St. John's Provincial. And there was a, a nice guy a year ahead of me. So he was ordained in, uh, uh, before me. And I'm not going to give his name because I'm going to tell a story about him. <laughs> he was a very uh, intellectual fellow, loved to read, very up to date on the classics and philosophy and history and things like that. But as far as the world around him, not so much. When he was in his first year ordained, he was assigned to a parish in Bloomfield Hills. And one day he is in the office, the secretary had to step out for a bit when a gentleman walked in and said, I'd like to join the parish. Well, this brand new young priest with his anointing oil still wet on his forehead, found the proper form and said, please give me your name. The gentleman gave him his name. Your address, he wrote down the address. Your phone number, wrote down the phone number. 
your occupation? The man said, baseball. The priest looked up and said, no, I'm, you misunderstood me. I didn't ask you what you did for recreation. I want to know what your occupation is. He says, I play baseball. No, I don't think you understand. Your real job. The guy looked and said, baseball. The priest said, well, I'll write it down, but I'm sure you'll get a call from the pastor on this. Writes it down. Later on that day, of course, he gives the guy his temporary envelopes and says, your regular envelopes will be in the mail, just like everywhere else. Later on that day, he sits down to dinner with his pastor, and the pastor says to his young associate, how was your day? And the young pastor says, well, I had a peculiar incident in the office. What's that, said the, said the pastor. Well, this gentleman came in to register, and I took his name and his address and his phone number, but when I asked his occupation, he just said, he plays baseball. And I didn't ask him what he did for fun. I asked him what he did for a living. Really, says the pastor. What was his, do you remember his name? He had an interesting name. I think it was Al Trammell. <laughs> for my Cub fan here, he's a famous Tiger player, just letting you know, okay. Uh, so <laughs> the pastor jumps out of his chair, races to the office, pulls out the form, calls up Alan Trammell and says, welcome to the parish, this is the pastor, what can I do for you? <laughs> Whoever receives a prophet receives a prophet reward, a righteous man for a righteous man's reward. A little one who is my disciple, you will surely not use your reward. You never know when you meet someone who that person might be. You may think you know, but you may not know. But this much I tell you is true. We are all made in the image of God. Every person on this planet is made in the image of God. And when you meet someone, you have to presume that God is in that person and treat that person with that respect. For every time you are polite and kind, you are showing God how much you love him. Every time you are courteous, every time you're able to be generous, every time you're able to be compassionate, you're showing to God how much you love him. Because it is in our encounters with others that we represent ourselves as members of God's family. And when they present themselves to us, we must assume that they are in that family as well. We stand as we make our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was that kind of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who at the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us raise our petition to the Lord. That our church and parish community may be a place of welcome to the poor, the troubled, and the lost. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that those who serve our church as pastors, teachers, and ministers may proclaim the victory of Christ crucified. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For those parishioners who continue to quarantine at home, that they remain healthy and know that they are united spiritually to us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our that all families, households, and communities may find in Christ neither division nor discord, but the source of love, compassion, and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. That those who work to provide human services to the poor, the suffering, and the forgotten may one day receive a prophet's reward for their perseverance and commitment. Let us pray to the Lord. That in our service to the sick, the recovering, and the dying, we may serve Christ Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. For an increased respect for all life, and an end to abortion. Let us pray to the Lord. For all members of our armed forces and for peace in the world, let us pray to the Lord. That God will raise to the new life of Christ all who have died in God's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. That God will grant the prayers we now make in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear Heavenly Father, please let petitions be raised to you this day. And we ask you to hear them in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts, and we ask this to Christ our Lord. May the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for when your children were scattered afar by sin through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the church. 
And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you. And with great joy, we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection and offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence, and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. With Let's offer a sign of God's peace. It would make Abby and Chloe proud. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and so shall be healed. At this time, for those that were at home, we perform the prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
We do have an announcement in a few minutes after we finish the closing song. Uh, we will have our early bird drawing for our parish raffle. As you know, unfortunately, we had to cancel the parish festival, so we mailed everybody three books of tickets. And now we're going to see who wins the first early bird. So if you are uh, at home, uh, stay tuned in because there'll be a few minutes, but we're going to set it up. Good luck to all. Let us pray. 
May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O oh Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our closing song today is Marvelous Light. Into marvelous light I'm running Out of darkness, out of shame By the cross you are the truth You are the life, you are the way I once was fatherless A stranger with no hope your kindness waking me, waking me from my sleep. Your love, it beckons deeply, a call to come and die. By grace now I will come and take this life, take your life. Sin has lost its power, death has lost its sting. From the grave you risen, victoriously into marvelous light I'm running. Out of darkness, out of shame, by the cross you are the truth, you are the life, you are the way. Marvelous light I'm running, out of darkness, out of shame. You are the truth, you are the light, you are the way. Dead heart now is beating, my deepest stains now clean. Your breath fills up my lungs, and now I'm free, and now I'm free. My dead heart now is beating, my deepest stains now clean. Your breath fills up my lungs, now I'm free, now I'm free. Sin has lost its power, death has lost its sting. From the grave you risen, victorious. Into marvelous light I'm running Out of darkness, out of shame By the cross you are the truth You are the life, you are the way Into marvelous light I'm running Out of darkness, out of shame By the cross you are the truth You are the life, you are the way Into marvelous light I'm running Out of darkness, out of shame By the cross you are the truth You are the light, you are the way Into marvelous light I'm running Out of darkness, out of shame By the cross you are the truth You are the light, you are the way
Mike's hot father. Good afternoon, and welcome to our first early bird drawing for the St. Malachy Summerfest. Today's drawing is going to be for $200. Next week, we're going to draw for $100, and then $75, and then $50 for the next three Sundays. All you have to do to enter into the, uh, the drawing for early bird is to f uh, send in your full book of tickets and fill out the green ticket stubs and send the stubs back in with your money to St. Malachy's office. So here we are. We're going to roll for the first drawing in this year's Early Bird Summerfest drawing for $200. Marlene will be picking. Okay. And the winner of the first $200 drawing for the Early Bird drawing is number green ticket number Three, three, one, three. Ticket number three, three, one, three. Nancy Steiger. All right. Congratulations, Congratulations Nancy. Ticket number three, three, one, three. Please get your green ticket stubs in, and we'll have another drawing next week for $100. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a great day.